Otar Gundu. We are on our way to Santa Comadale to pick up some new butane gas for our cooker. Our landlady is coming to stay at the house in a few days now and we need to basically have a spare bottle lying around the house. She always told us to have one spare and one under the house and we've just been running them down to nothing at the moment. So we're going to go up to where we buy them from and grab a bottle. I think this is a big difference between Portugal and the UK. When we were living in the UK, if you use gas, it's just piped in, yeah. isn't it? I'm not sure if they do piped gas here. Everyone seems to use the butane gas bottles that you just plug in yourself. So, I don't know, do they? <laughs> Let's go and get it. Today he's got the gage <laughs> and that's it. It is 25 euros for the whole thing and that lasts probably about six months. We don't actually need one yet, we haven't run out but we're just getting it just in case. You just have to find somewhere that has the same colour gas bottle that you're using. Normally they're petrol stations and you take the old one and swap it for a new one. They swap them over for you. That's it. We've been talking about buying a new car. We don't really want to buy a new car, but when Story grows out of her pram, she's gonna to need to carry a pram in the back of the boot. And that is one of the reasons why we've had such a reasonably sized car all this time, because that chair takes up so little space. So the next vehicle we get is most likely gonna to have to be an estate car, which would be called a station wagon in American English, isn't it? Station wagons, I think they call them? Yeah, yeah we call them estates. So I've just parked up next to this Audi A4 and we're looking at the size difference. It doesn't look like you get much extra space, do you, Sash? No. The boot does look a little bit bigger, but the actual interior of the car looks exactly the same. Yeah, you don't really gain much. No. We have to look into this a little bit more. Before we had Story, we were always dead against buying a really big car for one baby, weren't we? Mm -hmm. We kept saying, you don't need a huge station wagon or you don't need a people carrier for one child. And you don't, but only if you're smart with the things that you buy and the things that you take with you. So as we've been talking about how much we drive around and the stuff that we want to do in the future, like maybe more touring, an estate car is starting to seem a little bit more practical. So I have to take back some of the things that we said, <laughs> but I don't think we'll be buying a big seven-seater bus just yet. No, well the no. problem is when we go away, and we, have a, we need to have a pram and cases of yeah. luggage. And if you have one passenger in the car, aside from me and you, yeah. that's it. It's really uncomfortable in a normal-sized car. So that's basically what happens when you become a parent. <laughs> you realise things. OK, we can't come to Santa Comadal and not go to Pal Kent, <laughs> our favourite little cafe. Get a coffee. So let's go and get a coffee, yeah, and maybe some kind of cake. <laughs> Last month we were talking to one of our subscribers and he said, wait until August, you're going to see so many Luxembourgish cars turn up. And he was right. In our street alone, there must be at least 12 of them, isn't there? We see so many now, so I guess a lot of people from Luxembourg holiday here or used to live here. We just got ourselves a Café Duplo and a Batonado and two croissants and Story had a baby biscuit. She was really enjoying that baby biscuit, wasn't she? Yeah, she's getting good at eating that all, on, all by herself. She didn't make too much of a mess, actually. No, and the total bill came to five euros and 70 cents. No, three euros and 70 cents. Now we're gonna go for a wander through town. Hi. Who's that cool baby? <laughs> For how long though? Yeah, look at you, cool cat. <laughs> this is the first time that Story's actually kept her sunglasses on. She normally pulls them off immediately, so she's getting used to them. Look at her little hands. <laughs> I love it when you do that with your hands, Story. <laughs> it's very entertaining. <laughs> I can see ourselves in her glasses, so I can see what she's seeing. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody just offered us a cat. <laughs> One of the Bombiros was walking by and he had a kitten in his hand. Tiny little kitten. Yeah. And he said, do you want a cat? <laughs> Can I have some gato? It was like a, no thank you. <laughs> he must have just rescued it from somewhere. Aww. Maybe they just found it.
Well, I'm glad we got the gas bottle situation sorted out. It is very good to know that the gas lasts for so long though. You can see why so many people use gas kettles here instead of the electric ones because if the gas lasts for over six months then it is cheaper to probably just boil it up on the stove. We have been talking about making a cost of living in Portugal video for a while and we've just been gathering all the prices up of everything we've been doing over almost a full year living here. So we're almost ready with our collection of information. Some people have been asking if Portugal is cheaper to live than Thailand and we'll be answering that question in the video because we kind of know already. So we will plan that out and we will get it online as soon as we can. Watch this space. Yeah! This is a new dinner, isn't it, Story? It you ready? Is. What is it? This. Give it a chance. Yeah! Did you swallow <laughs> it? Bite number two. More successful? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> Story's dinner today is sweet potato carrot, chickpeas and brown rice. And this is the first time she's having brown rice. It's going down all right so far. We've been following the doctor's orders quite carefully. Month by month there's a different stage to her foods. And round about now she can start really consuming more protein. So that's why she's having a lot more beans and rices included in her vegetable supers. So, all good so far. She's laughing at me. <laughs> you laughing at that day vlogging? You saying, why are you talking to that camera? Hmm? You weirdo. <laughs> <laughs> That is so sweet. I just went into the living room and Jay and Story are laying on the duvet on the floor watching the new Tiny Moments video. Story has watched the whole thing through completely in silence. She's just enthralled by it. It's so sweet to watch them laying there. <laughs> that was nice. We just finished watching the latest episode of These Tiny Moments, which is Story's cinematic journey through life. And it's the first time I've actually shown her a finished video and just watched her reactions to it. She watched the whole thing, just enthralled by it. Her, her eyes were wide. Every time she saw her face come on screen, she was laughing. Every time she saw, oh wow, go on, you can do it. <laughs> Every time she saw a close up of Sash or me, she was just like eyes open wide. It's interesting though, because it's like getting, whoa, look at that strength. Look at that, she sat up all by herself. Well done, getting stronger, aren't you? <laughs> She'll be running away like she is now. But yeah, that's the point of these tiny moments. It's for us to show her these videos back. And so when she can get a good command of the language that we're speaking, she'll then be able to understand what we're saying too. Hi. <laughs> You've got a lovely face, haven't you? You are a lovely baby. <laughs> Yeah, you like seeing your face on camera, don't you? Yeah! <laughs> you beautiful girl. Alright, let's get you ready for bed, bed. Because you're going to get tired and cranky any moment now. Alright? Story is in bed now and I'm just looking out the window. It's really pretty out here. I've also been preparing dinner. Tonight we are having burritos. Before I get into the burrito business though, this is what it's looking like out here, out of our kitchen window. Right, dinner. So I tried to make this recipe before, this burrito recipe, and we couldn't find the wraps in our supermarket. If you've been watching, you might remember that. The other day when we went into Queenborough, we went into the big continent superstore and we found wraps. <laughs> they look huge. So we thought we would do the burritos again and have them properly with the actual wrap this time. This is what's going into them. We have 100 grams of sweet corn, 
kidney beans and black beans, three cloves of garlic, a handful of coriander, juice of a lime, and then you put two teaspoons of cumin, a teaspoon of salt, two tablespoons of soy sauce. There we go, focused. And then they all get wrapped into here afterwards. I have chopped up half a sweet potato into little thin bits, so they're gonna be roasted now. To have on the side of the burritos, and I've also made a salsa. I've almost forgot that. I've done this earlier. This is 300 grams of tomatoes, big handful of coriander, chili, salt, half a small onion, and two cloves of garlic. So, I will show you what it all looks like once it's all cooked, and we'll show you what it's like before we wrap it. Looks like dinner's coming together nicely. Roasted sweet potatoes. Yeah. This looks a bit like Mexican refried beans, doesn't it? Yeah. All right, let's start constructing these. So, you do, you know how to do it? No. Well, you can do salsa or beans first. You go with beans first. Yeah. Then salsa on top. I guess the salsa's quite wet. Yeah. Looks pretty chunky. Are you going to be able to wrap that? No, I'll see. Let's see. <laughs> Struggling a bit, aren't you? Need like a toothpick. Ah. We've got these kebab skewers that we just found. Snap it in half. Right. Try again. Yes. Yeah. Does it work? Nice. All right, it's time for us to enjoy this meal. It's actually smelling very delicious. The addition of the lime inside the bean dish is just outstanding. It really makes it change entirely, doesn't it? It's a really fresh taste, good summer meal. All right, mandatory look outside. If you're interested in accessing our bonus videos that we're putting up on the weekends and also in between days, check out the links above here and under in the description too. We're having some fun putting up some stuff on there. It's like a really good place for us to share things that we can't share in the vlogs. Hope you enjoyed today. Hit the thumbs up button and we will see you next time. Bye. Okay, that's a wrap. <laughs> <laughs>